Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, and welcome back to yet another awesome arrangement lesson here on Lickin' Riff, in which we're gonna learn the great Foo Fighters song, Learn to Fly. So first I'm gonna play you the arrangement so you can see and hear how it goes, and then we're gonna break it down lick by lick, note by note, with Taz right here as usual. All right, it goes like this, enjoy. Okay, so the first three chords they are on strings four, five, and six, which is really interesting because in finger style, we don't really get to have block chords on those specific strings, so it's really good exercise. And before I show you those chords, let me just remind you of the Black Friday special that's going on right now, which you can take advantage of. Um, you can check out all my courses, my individual courses for beginners, intermediates, advanced players, or the full course program, the Break Your Boundaries course program, which encapsulates all 25 courses. I have 25 Lick and Ref courses ready for you to check out and enjoy. So um, check it out. It's in the description. Black Friday. Um, Black Friday is always, always fun. And this year it's even extra fun with all the new courses. So check it out. And now I want you to put on B5, okay, which is 244 four on strings 5, 4, and 3. Okay, it's B5. And you can just play the third string two more times. Okay, or even more. Okay, any way you want to play it. And then a surprise because you're sliding it two frets up okay but it's not this it's not uh, C sharp you let go of the finger on the D string and you're playing 644 four. you're not playing 664 four. you're playing 644 four. this is F sharp 5 over C sharp this is an inversion of F sharp 5 so instead of playing, okay, this is another way to play it. Okay, so you can let go before the slide or after the slide. Okay, 
it creates two different expressions of the same lick. So, and then you have this. Okay, it's six hammer on to seven, pull off to six on the third string. Okay, and then you put your little finger on seven on the fifth string, and you have six four seven for a second. Okay, and you pull off six to four on the third string. Okay, and you put that finger, the one you just pulled off, the third finger, on six on the fourth string. Okay, so it's, and then, then it's this. Okay, it's E, it's E major. Okay, it's, so it's this. Um, now, this takes a little bit of getting used to. Okay, and put the little finger, you pull off, and you put the finger back on. So practice that, I know I had to. And then after you put the chord on, you can play the E bass if you want. So. Okay, so you play this twice or even four times if you want. This is a really, really cool riff. And then you have B. Okay, you start the verse with B. And I'm not putting anything on the D string because I'm not playing it, okay? That makes playing around with the chord much, much easier. That's a finger style trick. You don't have to put all the fingers on all the time. So, okay, so it's four, 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 pull off to two on the second string with B. And then you have four on the third string and then you change the chord to um, F sharp minor. Okay. And all you have to do is 4-2 on the third string while playing the F sharp bass. So it's and then you have time to put on the chord. Okay, you can change the chord later. So it's and then you have E. Okay. So it's E, just E. And you play the second string three times, third string once, and then you have four two on the fourth. So you can hammer it on, you can slide to it, any way you feel comfortable. Okay? And then you have the B minor to F sharp line, um, the B major, sorry, to F sharp line again. And then you have four again on the third string, two on the second and E. Just strings two, three. That's the melody on E. So and you play this twice. This is the verse. And then you have the chorus, which is also the same chords. It's the same chord progression. It's B, F sharp minor, and E. So it's, okay, now you let go of the bar. It's two, 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 zero. You let go of the bar on the first string, and then it's four on the second string. So you get, and then you have this. Okay, now it's F sharp minor again but you have to have the open second string as well. And lifting the bar off of F sharp minor isn't as easy or isn't as palatable as it is on B. So I'm playing this, I'm putting on three fingers, two, two, and two on strings, two, three, and six, and I'm playing that, and then I open the second string. That's a lot easier. I just take the little finger, okay, down two frets, and I have the shape. Okay, almost ready. So it's... And then you have kind of the same line on E. 
Okay, so you have to play it on the second string uh, to get a really cool sound because if you just play Okay, what happens when you need the four on the second string? Okay, so my solution is this Okay, to just have four on the third string Okay, four on the third string with the melody which is seven 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 five four on the second string Okay, and I play it with the open E bass. And then I go back down and I put on two and one on strings two and three. Okay, two and one. And I pull off the two to zero on the second string. Okay, so I get okay, this. And then you have B and F sharp minor again. This time, 2 4 on the second string, you can slide it, and then you just have E, okay? Strings 2 and then 3. Okay, so you have. Okay? You have time. You can play the open second string and then the E bass and then 1 on the third string. Okay, that's the right timing anyway, so. And then you play the first line again, okay? You play the first line. Okay, and then you have... Okay, it's 3-2-2-0 on the second string, but with G, with a G chord. So it's... Okay, you can pull it off okay, if you want, but I like... Okay, just picking everything and then you have okay a with three and two okay you pull off three to two on the second string okay and then zero zero hammer on to two on the second string okay and then you end on b5 the one you just started okay the intro with so it's um You can go back to the intro or you can go to the bridge okay you can go to the bridge okay which is uh it's b okay you keep it going for a little while and then you have g with the open second string twice two two on the third and then you have this okay it's four four on the fourth and you have five on the fifth string, okay? So it's D. Okay, it's D, it's a D chord head. Okay, and then you have, okay, you have four slide to two zero on the D string. Okay, and then you have E, okay, with strings four and then five, okay? Both on two. Okay, so it's, It's G with two pull off to zero on the first string, three zero on the second. And then you have A with two zero zero on the first string. Okay, so it's A. It's an A chord, okay? With two on the first string. A6 if you want. So. And you can play it again. Okay, with B and then and then you play the chorus again and then you play the intro again and when you want to end It's B7 
thus two. So it's like B5, but with the bar on. So you have two and two on strings one and two. Okay, and you just play the head of the chord and then strings one and two, okay, three times. You can play it again and then Okay, you take the chord, you play B5, and you take the chord down physically, up musically, and you play 2-4-4 four, four on strings 4, 3, and 2. This is E major 7, actually. Okay, this is, this is E major 7. And you play B sus 2. Okay, just the same chord that you played before. And, and that's Learn to Fly. That's your arrangement of Learn to Fly. So thank you so much for watching. Go download the tab. The tab is for free. Everything on Lick and Riff is for free. All the tabs for all the arrangements. So go download the tab book. The link is below in the description. And while you're there, check out the Black Friday opportunity for you to join the Lick and Riff courses, the Lick and Riff course program or any one of the individual courses. So check it out. I'm looking forward to see you inside and uh, you enjoy this arrangement of Learn to Fly by the Foo Fighters. Bye for now, have fun.